This candelabra is called Dolls. Now, when I ran away from home in 1971 and went to claim my right as an artist in Paris, my father disinherited me. But not before I went to a little shop in Decatur, an antique shop, and found these dolls. They were two uh, 19th century dolls laying on a quilt. And I got those dolls and I put them in my suitcase and took them to France. I don't know why, but I started a series doing dolls. I guess I always, always wanted to play with dolls instead of run out with the football and the basketball and the baseball. My sister was five years old and she had all these dolls and I wanted dolls and I didn't get them. So I finally got my dolls and I lived off of them for about 20 years, drawing them in different positions. So this piece is done a little later, I think 74, and had this little candelabra that I found in a junk shop for maybe a dollar, and had this doll head, plastic doll head, and stuck it on the top. And it was just like, you know, doing the sacrificial rites around the witch, burning of the witch, if you want, could be one interpretation. And I really don't think I had an idea of it when I did it, because I put glitter on her face, or maybe that was just, I glittered the whole doll when I had her. I did wonderful things to them, you know, taking junk and making something out of it. But there's always something to be done creatively to take an object out of its natural environment and put it in, give a new meaning to it give a new dimension. And I think that's what art is. It's finding new dimensions for old habits.